Hi everybody, it is Wednesday, October 21st, 2020. If you're wondering where last week's midweek encouragement is, it wasn't there. I took a hiatus again, my apologies. But hey, I want to do something a little different today. Instead of uh, sharing scripture that's going to be relevant to Sunday's message, I want to share scripture with you today that is an honor to Pastor Kurt Johnson. Today was Pastor Johnson's funeral, but many of you know who Pastor Johnson is. It was his funeral. And there was then a procession through the cemetery to where he was laid to rest, where the community members were able to honor him. Uh, so I want to take a minute to share some scripture that just reminds me of Pastor Johnson. And I want to just honor him and Tess. Pastor Johnson and Tess had such an enormous impact on our community that it is quite remarkable to think of what these two people did in our community and the lasting impression that they will have on so many lives. And so I got to thinking about that today. What is it that Pastor Johnson and Tess have done? Well, it's a long list. How do you narrow it down to a few things? But one of the greatest things is that they were present. They were present. You saw them everywhere. You'd see them at games. You'd see them at band and choir concerts. You would see them active in the community. And they just were so present and they were so interested and they always knew you. What uh, what an impact that they made on our community. I was on Facebook the other day. I don't remember which one of my Facebook friends posted this, but it was spot on because they said something like, as a kid sitting in the pews, I used to think Pastor Johnson was Jesus. And I remember thinking that same thing. So whichever one of my friends it was, you were spot on. And thanks for reminding me of that because I remember thinking as a kid, like, isn't he Jesus? That is Jesus, right? I don't know if it was his beard, if it was his voice, his captivating voice, the robe he was wearing. And when I imagined what Jesus was, I imagined Pastor Johnson. So listen to this scripture. It's from Romans chapter 8, starting at verse 28. It says, And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him. Who have been called according to his purpose for those god foreknew he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son that he might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters and those he has predestined he also called those he called he also justified those he justified he also glorified so in that verse 29 for those god foreknew he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son i think that is that's Pastor Johnson. For a lot of us kids, we thought he was Jesus. But isn't that kind of the whole point, though, of that scripture, right? When people see us, do they see just Joe Schmo? Or do they see an image of Jesus? Now, Pastor Johnson just kind of fit the bill because he literally looked like him, in my opinion. And in, in what we have formed in our brains, what Jesus looks like. But Pastor Johnson lived a life like Jesus would. Because he loved unconditionally. He reached out. When he saw you in the public, he'd come and talk to you. He would say hi to you and he'd give you a hug. Or he would ask questions and, and ask about your day. Or Pastor Johnson lived a life like Jesus. Therefore, I think that's why so many of us just thought he was. But as it says in Romans, God conforms us in the image of his son. Hallelujah. And I hope that you might find encouragement in that. Not guilt, because if we start thinking, boy, what did I do today that's like Jesus? We can awfully easily get a little discouraged. But being intentional about wanting to live a life like Jesus, soon we start realizing that, that people do recognize Jesus in the way we live. So it's my encouragement for you this week. So open the word as always. Open the word. Turn to the word. Um, it's always promising. It's always encouraging. So uh, as far as this weekend or this week, tonight we have our confirmation students, 10th graders. It's one of your last nights of confirmation before you are confirmed in a few weeks. That's at 7 p.m. Young adults at 6.30 p.m. We're going to have a young adults Bible study. If you're willing to make it out, if you can make it out, uh, bring a friend, bring a couple friends, bring 10 friends. Uh, we're going to meet out here at 6.30 p.m. for a Bible study. Uh, let's see here. Later this week, Sunday is Reformation Sunday. 
at 9 a.m. We have our worship service in Sanctuary in the Fellowship Hall in the parking lot on YouTube. Lots of ways to worship with us this week. And then always, as always, uh, Sunday at 10, p- 10 a.m. rather, is our Sunday school will be um, will be uploaded live on our YouTube channel. Um, otherwise, lots of fun stuff always happening. There's always opportunities. But the, the biggest thing is open the word, pray, reach out, give a phone call to your loved ones, and um, lots of different ways to be the hands and feet of Jesus. In South Zumbro, you're really good at doing that. So keep it up. Um, always know this. I am here for you. Pastor Jeff is here for you. If you need to talk, if you need prayer, if you just need somebody to listen, shoulder to cry on, or somebody to rejoice with you in your life, we're here for you. So we love you. We miss you. I'll talk to you soon. God bless.